you know, I heard Scalabrini the other day, and I love Scal, but he pissed me off. Like, oh, yeah, Perk, he wasn't invited to the Duck Bowl Tour. He, you know, 2018 was on there. And I was like, I never said I wanted to come. I wasn't, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> it wasn't my moment. It wasn't my moment or 2008 moment. It was 2024 moment. Let them have their moment. So, so, but when you go, when I go to the city, it's still love. Uh, you know, Celtic fans, it's just, it's like the Laker fans, right? Like, you, you know, they, they're going to be hostile about certain things, but they'll be all right. That was Perk on the Mark Jackson Show uh, discussing the whole issue that arose last week where Scal on his radio show with Frank Isola said, yeah, uh, I don't think the team likes Perk all that much. Uh, credit to Scal. He said that on his radio show. He, it was not uh, uh, not said here on Jones and Mego on WEEI. Uh, we did reach out. We never uh, we never heard back. Never, never heard back. No. But uh, what are you going to do? Ghosted. Yeah. Well, well, we'll get to him at some point on. Is that story. Adam? Right. That was Adam. That is. That was me. Yes. Uh, you're right. Uh, Andy Hart in for Mego today. We're live in the Ford Clubhouse Fenway Studio. Taking your phone calls. Six one seven 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 nine seven ninety three seven. We'll play uh, Scal's response in a moment. You been following the story at all, Andy? This all popped off early in the week. Uh, I have. The first thing that stuck out stuck out to me was that uh, Scal's hair has taken nicely. Did you notice his forehead looks different? No. no. Yeah, in the video clip of of one of these comments about. No. It. Oh yeah, it works. Good ad. We uh, saw we saw <laughs> we saw him in person a, a couple of times during the NBA Finals, so I, I didn't notice. Yeah, that. like it's definitely coming forward. You know, his forehead starts to creep back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Christians. Yeah. Christian Fourier. I mean. That's one. Visor. I was going to say, how dare you? I mean, Derek White. He Derek almost White, stole you... my visor for me at camp because his forehead was burning because it was so hot out there because it was so large. You know what? I'm so... looking and I see it. I see it, actually. It was yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see when it. you have too much at the top of it exposed, yeah. that's, that's the problem. That's going to burn. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. it's true. But uh, yeah, so that aside, um, I find this very interesting. The people that are um, very careful to stay in the good graces of the team. And now he's in a weird world because he works for the team, right? Correct. The NBC Boston, yep. the whole we, okay, I get that to some degree, but this is the issue you face when you want to go in the media. If you want to be Teddy Bruschi popping off on TV or whoever, like we want that as a consumer, right? Yep. Oh, wow. He's going after Bill. He's yep. going after the Patriots, but I think they do have to at least have in the back of their minds, oh, the Patriots are going to hear this. And am I still welcome down at practice or is Robert going to invite me to the next ceremony or dinner that takes place okay so there is a way to do that though right there's a way to be critical and not be unfair yeah and so i'm not good at that well me neither but do you do you think that do you think that perk towed that line well here is uh brian scalabrini on why the celtics are pissed about perk and at perk and why he wasn't allowed at the parade etc cetera, etc cetera. here's what scal had to say so he's not coming back to boston at all he's not welcome back he he's all good like doing the other side i think the comments about joe mazula were out of hand you can't call the coach of the boston celtics a dodo bird like you just now can't do think? that like i don't know for a fact that the organization is like nah we don't want nothing to do with kendrick perkins anybody else from oa anybody else from back in the day there's old timers coming through all the time i'm just not sure that like Jason Tatum and, and Joe Missoula and Jalen Brown are going to love when Kendrick Perkins shows up. I'm just not sure about that. This is so funny how like the media is. A lot of people need to be spoon fed like a baby, right? Like Joe Missoula doesn't call timeouts when they want him to. But then all of a sudden we're making a playoff run and LeBron James comes out and says Joe Missoula is a genius. And guess what the rest of ESPN does after that? They all got spoon fed by their daddy, LeBron James. <laughs> and all of a sudden now, oh, right? I guess Joe Missoula is a genius. Like, come <laughs> on, guys. Okay, so there's LeBron again, uh, spoon feeding jobs to his son, and I guess uh, takes <laughs> to the rest of the NBA. You guys want him? Uh, that was, I, he's talking about I Perkins there too, right? Well, I think he's talking about a lot of people, but yes. Yeah. Um, so number one, Arkan, I heard you say this. He didn't call him a, a dodo bird. No, I thought that was a grave injustice to the line that Perkins actually had, which was a very funny line, which was that if you put Missoula's brain into a bird, the bird flies back. Sure. You. That is not calling him a dodo bird, and I wanted do to give props okay. to the insult. But Mego and I argued about this earlier in the week. She's like, well, that was a personal shot by Perk at Missoula. And I'm like, eh. Like, I don't really think that was much of a personal shot. Do you think if that you crossed... take his brain out and you put it in the bird, 
the bird is going to start flying backwards. Okay. <laughs> That's a good line. It is. It's funny. And like, okay, I, I get why Missoula might not love it, but the, it's to the point Missoula's where like, I'm not a bird. The team can't you, the team can't have him around because right. of that. Like that's a joke. Well, if you're going to be respectful of your head coach, uh, I have no, like that is the head of your team, right? That's mm -hmm. right, head coach. Was Marcus right. Smart respectful of the head coach when he was here? Yeah, he wasn't there either. Yeah, he's not, a, right? he's not here anymore. Okay, but I'm just saying like, I, I don't know. Like they all like Marcus Smart. But it's one thing to be disrespectful in the heat of the moment as a member of the team, correct? Like, that happens. You guys do stuff in locker rooms, Fine. on the field. Yep. That happens at all levels, sure. right? Youth straight through the pros. But to go on TV and take, like, a personal shot at so somebody you do think, on the radio. You do think that's personal. Oh, I think he crossed a line. Now, should he be okay doing that if he wants to? Like, this business, that happens. Like, we, like people are going to make fun of players. Mm -hmm. people, I also found it interesting he, he didn't stop with Missoula. Then he, Brian Scalabrini says, and I don't know how Tatum and Brown right. would feel about it. Okay. So, so this is, it expanded the so people that this, are offended by Perkins. This is my thing. I think it's, I think there's a big Tatum factor to this as well. I said this on Monday when all this was going off. That was my instinct. I, Mego immediately went to the, the Missoula comments and, and she might've been onto something because I, I didn't think it was that. I didn't even think that was that bad from Perk. I just know that Tatum has had sensitivity about Perk in the past. What did he tweet about him? He tweeted, so it was a night where Brown had a really good night and Tatum didn't, or something like that, and Perkins made a big deal of that in his tweet. He was like, Jalen Brown's out there scoring all these points. Meanwhile, Jason Tatum was 6 of 14. And he's like, go Perk, go. Something. Yeah, yeah. And, and, uh, probably a playoff game. <laughs> right, and then Tatum quote tweeted it and says, normalize, which I hate when people start. Normalize. Normalize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Normalize not doing that. Uh, but they say normalize... Uh, complimenting someone without tearing somebody else down or some crappy you know new age here's the yes like that. i think they're all hiding behind the missoula stuff because they're like oh what can we what can we go to that like people will see and it was a clip i just think tatum doesn't like this commentary and tatum similar to lebron running the lakers tatum runs the celtics so if you're going to ask me who i think just circumstantially i would believe is more likely to have a problem with perkins it's tatum because missoula well, you, I feel like well, you hate tatum so that makes sense yeah that, that yeah, probably falls yeah. in line normalize that tatum <laughs> um <laughs> I think from what we've seen from Missoula, doesn't he have a little uh, like snarkiness to him? Yeah. I feel like he would actually want Perkins there for the opportunity to say, Make looks it like I'm flying forward with a championship in my yeah, hand. Yeah, like, like that's like, true. Somehow turn it. Like that's the way he plays the with with Washburn um, yeah. for like two years. Yeah. Very they got a tete a tete back. Adversarial. And yep. Mm -hmm. And like he, fun. he Thanks, did yeah. Remember when he did the research and he like, oh, I went back and found this story and it was yeah. like, would you Lexus Nexus or something? Yeah, yeah. That was old. <laughs> so I feel like he would have appreciated an opportunity to stick it to Perkins. Whereas I don't think Tatum has that in him. That's that he would just be like, I don't want that guy around. He was mean to me yeah, on the internet. And I just, again, like uh, uh, talk all the crap you want, I guess, now that you've won. But it's weird you're like shutting people out on top of it. It's like he was wrong. He was wrong. That's all. He was just wrong. And, like, I don't expect any spots on Duck Boat. But it was but unprofessional. Like, you could argue that he crossed all. To say... He's a young coach who makes a lot of dumb in-game decisions. Yeah, fine. It's different than if you put his brain in a bird. Yeah, he, I don't know. He's trying to be entertaining. And yeah. so maybe the lines between those get blurred. Often. And fine. Uh, if you want to say he went too far, that's fine. I, I don't think it was a major personal shot. I don't, it was. A, he called him a bird brain, basically. That's yeah. not that bad, Andy. Like, there's much. Charles okay. Barkley's does worse. And the again, Dodo bird about everybody is all the time. Right? Like, that was. The Dodo bird's extinct. Yeah, if you go the way of the Dodo bird. You're, you're toast. Yeah, yeah. You exactly. can't call he, the coach of the Boston Celtics a Dodo bird. Well, good. He didn't. He didn't. So we're all good here. Yeah, but but if you want to say he he crossed the line, fine. But crossing a line doesn't mean you're not allowed on the duck boat, does it? And I don't even know that he wanted. Here's the other thing. I don't even know that he wanted to be on the duck boat. I just think the fact that they're like Perkins is dead to us is just so soft. It's also weird how Scal was like, all oh, the guys from 2008 are around. It's like, no, they're not. Like Kevin Kevin well, Garnett was around a I little heard, bit. Pierce was around. I heard another thing he did with Frank Isola. I don't think we have the clip for it, but I heard another thing where he's like, uh, Garnett won't go on it. Rondo won't be there. He, he, right. he went through all those names, but... Well, like, all those guys who were very important okay. players on their team. But what, are, he, are but what he said about Perk was different. He's like, will Garnett be there? Isola was asking him all these names. He's like, no. Will Rondo be there? No. Will Perk be there? No, he's dead to the team. You know what I mean? So it was like, it was different what he said about Perk. I understand, but he also went on to say all these guys, you know, can have carte blanche and do whatever they want, and they chose not to go. Like, Ray Allen probably could have gone if he wanted to. That would have been awkward. Like, what if Ray Allen showed up and was like, hey, guys, can I get on the float? They're going to say, yeah, sure, Ray, come on. It was I mean, like, he went to Miami. Here's you the know, thing. everybody's got sort of their thing. Rondo, 
just had some legal problems recently. Like, everybody's got their reasons. And Perkins' reason, I think, is probably the most noble one. He wants to take his job seriously yep. as a national NBA commentator. He doesn't want to be beholden to any team or show any kind of bias or, or slant. And so he goes out and does his job in an honest way. I think that's fine. That's commendable. I think he should uh, be leaning into that. But the reality is a lot of these coaches and teams are sensitive. Yeah, they are. Very, sure. very sensitive. Totally. Yeah. And they hold grudges. Any, and any come to mind? interesting we're live here at fenway <laughs> let's go to the phones uh brandon is in boston go ahead brandon hey guys thanks for taking my phone call so i just sure. want to say this is privilege at its finest you know when it comes to jj reddick and, and Bronny. you know Bronny didn't prove itself in college you scored four points i mean at least go back another year and prove yourself get in double figures show that you can actually win games go to the playoffs even jj reddick he retired in 2001 you know with all that time he could have even pulled a Deion sanders you know go for two years, you know, bring your team to the Final Four, win some playoff games. You know, even with Deion Sanders with the three years, he won the Southwestern Atlantic Conference twice, and then he got the Colorado hey, job, you know. Look, Brandon, you, know, you have to preach to me. I, I like Deion. I think Deion's going to get an NFL job. So uh, here's the one thing I'll say about Reddick. What are you shaking your head at? Save that. Put a pin in that. I I already uh, – maybe you were unfamiliar with this take. He's been saying that for a couple of years. I wanted – Yeah, that's fine. I wanted him – Get a be, winning record first before you get an NFL. I job. wanted him to be – he has a winning record in college. I, I wanted uh, him to be <clears> – <throat> What happened at Colorado? What, what were they last year? They Do you doubled believe? their – They doubled their win total. How many did they win? Four. How many did they lose? I don't know. Seven? Eight, I believe. Yeah. That's twice as many good. losses as wins. No, no. They doubled their they win total. They were better, but they weren't good. They and doubled they their win total teams, the year prior. They went home with their tail between look, their legs. Look, oh, the line wasn't good. Dion, what do you say about Andy? You don't believe. Yeah, you don't believe. I do not believe. I wanted him to be the next coach of the Patriots. You don't believe. Ugh. Might be the only coach more disastrous. <laughs> We're going to get to Mayo coming up. Rod Mayo says Andy Hart cannot come to Here's the one thing I would say about J.J. Redick. Redick was getting interviews from other teams. And so it's like, even though he's LeBron's guy, and that's clearly why he got the Lakers. I'm not arguing with that. I'm just saying, like, other teams were interested in Redick. Were other teams interested in Bronny? I'm not sure they were. Well, no, because uh, the, the, the agent came out and said, if you draft him, he's going to go to Australia, <laughs> which all the teams were like, oh, no. Oh, no. That's oh, where God. a pissed off Andy as a bad GM might have said, prove it. Yeah. And draft him I'm and just see if he's willing right. to go, draft him go out to of Australia. Yeah, I mean, look, halfway around the world. I, I do have mixed feelings on this because I do like spite, but then you should also be doing what's best for your team. Yeah. So I, I have mixed feelings. I, I'd lean that it's stupid, but I understand acting irrationally yeah. out of spite. I get that. Reddick also interviewed with the Hornets. Yeah, this, that was the other thing. This offseason or was that last offseason? Uh, that was April. It was April of this year. And I thought he had a. I thought he had an interview last year too. Like I, I he's, well, had, he's got the Coach K thing. Where uh, last year like, he interviewed with the Raptors. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. So like Coach K right. says he's one of the smartest guys Look, around in basketball. Blah, blah, I think blah, he's blah. completely unlikable. I don't think it's going to work out. I, he clearly got the job because of LeBron. All I'm saying is, at least other teams were interviewing him for a job. I don't think anybody was going to draft Bronny. Uh, Kelly's in Amherst. Go ahead, Kelly. Hey, so uh, Scalabrini and then Bronny. So one thing real quick is I love how when Scout Scala talks Ronnie. about the 2018, he, he, he talks about we as if uh, that would be like Jordan Walsh talking about this championship here. He was not a part of that team. He's a total scrub. And then on Bronny, I'm with Brandon of Boston. He obviously has not proven himself, but he lost so much time in his development because of that health issue. So who knows what he's really capable of? We'll have All to right. see. This is what Andy said earlier, and you're talking about a friend of the it show. It means you should play another year. You're talking about a friend of the Jones and Mego program, Brian Scalabrini. How Brian Scalabrini. He says we with the current team, too. He says yeah, we yeah, anytime yeah. any Celtics team is it, mentioned. Here's the interesting thing about 2008. You brought up Ray Allen. Maybe, maybe they didn't win because maybe things weren't going so well with that team. You know, like, like there were, there were, there's a lot of infighting with that team that remains to this day. Maybe that needs more of an investigation of why they, why they came up short uh, and only won the one championship. They, they should have won more than they did. Yeah, they should have, and this team should too, and that's why I would never want to add somebody, something, anything like LeBron James to it. So you think infighting? Did you, you think just running it back works? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm all in. I'm a green team right see, now. You, you've cut. Okay, so that's I look. Doing, so. I'm picking I them said to do it. Before, the, the second round of the playoffs, I said this team was set up to be a dynasty. They just need to win one okay. first before they can start that. Program. But in your experience with the Pats, yes, they had to make changes to repeat. Like they, they would they have repeated in 04 without Dylan. Um, probably not. I mean, he was kind of the centerpiece of the offense. Yeah, so, I'm saying. so like there, there's something to be said about adding to your team and not sure. just running it back fat and happy the next year. But I also think this team is unique in that the two best players are reaching their prime, about to hit their whatever. Yep. The development of your two best players, healthy, 
yeah, are are is a huge part of this, and the complementary players fight well and are still like no one's aging out. The yeah. Porzingis right. one is the most likely. Like, there's going to be a change coming. Yeah, Horford. The yeah, that area there is a little concerning. I'm not arguing with you. That I'm picking them to repeat. And so I'm not. I'm not saying they can't. I'm just saying. Wait a minute. It'd, you love everybody. It'd be a lot. The Red Sox are a playoff team. Yep. The Patriots, Patriots are going to win wins. at least six games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Celtics are going to repeat, and yep. the Bruins are. I don't know. Playoff team. I don't know. Jesus. Yeah. You have a weird reputation. Everybody thinks you hate everything, and you think every team is you better than it actually is. You know what, Andy? You know you get me. I feel seen. <laughs> I feel seen. Uh, we'll get to all your phone calls here coming up. Six one seven 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 nine seven ninety three seven.